Hey guys, this is Mark coming to you from Thor. Once again, we're gonna show you a new application design. Uh, so obviously we've been getting a ton of calls about streaming uh, and sending you know, video over uh, IP, whether it's public, LAN or WAN. Uh, there's a variety of ways to do it. Um, we're gonna stick to LAN today or WAN, if you will, uh, if you have a backbone that you know includes fiber or something of the sort. Uh, but I wanted to discuss this little application. So we're using an encoder uh, for HDMI input ADHD. Now this encoder will do UDP, RTP, RTSP. Uh, today we're gonna be focusing on UDP stream. Uh, specifically in this case, instead of unicast, we're gonna use multicast. Um, so there's a variety of ways to do this. There's, you know, some people might have uh, different opinions on it, that's okay. Uh, we're gonna show you one way to do this. So essentially we have this four uh, video encoder creating four IP streams today. And those four IP streams are going right into the switch. That's all this is. This cable is going straight from the unit, the data IP out, straight into the switch. Uh, we have a Roku, Fire Stick, uh, Blu-ray, uh, all connected to the HDMI sources. So three sources, so three channels. And this device, which I wanted to show you guys today, this is a 1RU uh, IP Edge Qualm modulator. So what does that mean? So that means that this is almost doing uh, the decoding of the video that this is actually producing. So this Edge Qualm is actually, I believe this one is 16 channel. We also have a 32 channel we offer here at Thor. Uh, but the IP Edge Qualm essentially will take in uh, as many IP channels as you can fit into your 16 Qualm. Again, Qualm is 38 megabits on uh, Qualm 256. So 38 megabits of pipe. You can put in as many uh, channels or video program transport streams as you like into that pipe. Uh, today, again, we're only using three, but I just wanted to show you that this device is actually taking from the switch, just this blue uh, RJ45 cable uh, is going into this. Out of the back, we have simply uh, some Cat6 cable, Cat6 cable going into a one by two splitter, and the splitter is going to these two TVs. So if I just take out the RG6, it should turn off and you can push it back in, it should pop right back on. So essentially what we're doing is, if you guys have a campus or some bigger area that you wanted to create a head end at, and you wanna create an IPTV head end uh, with let's say 100 channels, you can send those multicast channels through a switch, through a backbone, um, and then put these kinds of units in your head end at let's say you have a complex of 10 buildings, uh, obviously one building you already have connected. The other nine can get units like this and you can dump in three 32 qualm units and you'll get a hundred channels. Now, how does that work? So essentially we can show you guys the GUI at some point, but essentially it's just like using a regular TV. So this is actually converting IP TV streams into qualm programs. And again, those qualm programs, you can fit as many as you want uh, into 38 megs. Again, you don't want to overdo it, so I would say two full HD channels would probably be the max, four SD channels. But as you can see, if you just hit up or down, uh, this I believe is the Fire Stick. And we should have the Roku, the Roku here, uh, same thing. If you scroll down, you'll go to the Fire Stick and down one more time, down to the Blu-ray player. So you control these with your regular TV remote, just like you would have cable TV in your house. But you're actually receiving uh, all the channels via IPTV. So IPTV is blowing up. It's becoming a lot more popular. People are interested in streaming. Uh, and again, these edge qualm modulators are terrific if you have a campus or multiple sites where you need to deliver uh, RF television. And again, this is an easy way to do it. You don't need 100 set-top boxes um, for 100 channels. You can just get three of these in a 32 channel format. Uh, one RU, easy to use, easy to implement. Obviously, if you have a script with all your IP addresses that the encoder is creating, you just take that same information, put it in this guy, and it's easy to load using the web GUI. Uh, very quick, very efficient, uh, and it's easy to scale. That's the genuinely good thing about it. So once you create the head end with expensive encoders, you can turn around and instead of using a lot of little decoders, you can use edge qualm units, and that'll be easy to actually put right into the switch uh, and deliver those channels to all your TVs using coaxial backbone uh, in the building itself. Now, when I say backbone, it's usually over a WAN, like a campus. Uh, each building should have either fiber or coax backbone. Uh, you know, if it's like a dormitory, for example, it's an easy way to send, you know, six or seven dormitories, 100 channels using only one head end. Uh, it simplifies the process. 
less things get broken, less things need adjusting. Uh, so again, this is full 1080, uh, really easy to use. Um, and as you can see, very simple. So if you guys have any questions or would like to learn more, uh, we can talk about UDP, RTP streaming. Uh, we have some newer models that do RTMP uh, and HLS. So depending on what kind of streaming you guys are doing, whether you wanna send it to YouTube, send it to Facebook, uh, we offer all sorts of products that can do that. We can make some recommendations for you once we discuss your application. And again, if you need more high density units, this one's a four channel. We do have upwards of 24 HDMI input encoders like the Performox that also do H.265, uh, which is an excellent uh, protocol if you're using you know, a lot of, lot of data to create 100 said HD channels. All right, guys, well, thanks for stopping in. Hopefully you learned something new and we'll talk to you soon.